We got a new leader, folks. Doug Smith comes in in the last 26, 29 minutes with a 22.75. All right. Today we're hosting a triploid grass carp tournament on Lake Conroe. We're partnering with the Texas Bass Federation Nation and also the Texas Bowfishing Association to try to remove some grass carp from Lake Conroe. This fish was put into the lake to control an invasive aquatic plant called hydrilla. And this aquatic plant has caused a lot of turmoil over the years here at Lake Conroe between the Lake Homeowners Association that does not want the plant in the lake and you have the anglers on the other side who like the plant because it offers uh, habitat for their favorite fish species, largemouth bass, and, uh, and makes fishing better uh, from their perspective. So we're here to try to balance, try to strike a balance between those two views and, and uh, remove the hydrilla from the lake, but yet allow our native aquatic plants to, to prosper and continue to provide the habitat for the fish. What this is actually going to do is it's going to accelerate the process of finding a balance between the exotic plants, the exotic plant control, namely the grass carp, and the native vegetation that we're trying to get introduced and trying to get reintroduced and growing in Lake Conroe. The native vegetation is really important to us. It provides food and cover for the juvenile fish. It's one of the main basic necessities for fish populations because it actually puts energy from sunlight into the system and gives the fish a place to live, and gives them something to eat, really, really good for us, really important. But right now we don't have many native plants because we do have so many of the vegetation eating that is fish, that is the grass carp. So what we're going to try to do here is take some of those out and at the same time we continue to plant native vegetation in Lake Conroe, particularly those species that grass carp don't really like to eat, so that we can find this balance. It's not easy but we're working toward it and I think we will find that magic balance to where we can keep the ecosystem in good shape, keep the exotic vegetation out so we won't have access issues and have just an, an even better fishery. Grass carp in Lake Conroe are currently a protected species and without a permit they would not be allowed to retain these fish since the purpose of the tournament is to uh, harvest fish and reduce the current numbers of fish in the lake. Uh, we need these people to be able to catch and retain and weigh in and hopefully win a little bit of prize money uh, with, uh, with pulling these grass carp out of Lake Conroe. Some of these folks here are local. They've been living around here for years. They're, they understand what we're trying to do here. And not only are they willing to help, but they're pretty knowledgeable in how to go about targeting grass carp as a species in a, in a fishing tournament. And that's something that uh, has been beneficial for us in this tournament because folks are bringing in a lot of grass carp and it's helping the cause overall. During this whole entire process of, of getting this tournament together we've developed some good partnerships, some good friendships with the people at Stowaway Marina who has graciously donated this venue site for us. Uh, the partnerships that we've developed with the Texas Bow Anglers and the Texas Parks and Wildlife and the San Jacinto River Authority people have been very beneficial in this whole affair. And it would have been very difficult to do this without the backing and support of all those groups.